it's me Carol, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm doing the get to know me book tip. No, that's not the name. What is it? I don't know the name. So today I'm doing the booktube about me tag because in these past few days something really special has happened. My channel has grown a lot. Like I've gotten over 30 subscribers in less than two days which is insane and I just wanted to say hi to everyone who's new here and I wanted to do this tag so you guys get to know me a little bit better and I'm really excited so thank you to everyone who has taken the time to subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, like or comment down below. You guys are so so important to me and just thank you, thank you, thank you. This means the world to me. Thank you. I can't believe this is happening. I'm almost at 600 subscribers, which is insane. So thank you. And this tag seemed like a lot of fun. So I really wanted to do it. And I'll link the original creator down below so you guys can check it out. But let's do this. So the first question is, what do you study or what is your job? I am currently on my last year of high school and I plan on studying psychology so I can become a therapist. Ever since I was little, people came to me for help. And I always found that so weird because they would talk with me about things they wouldn't talk with anyone else and I've always wanted to help people. I'm the mom person in my friend group, I'm always making sure everyone is okay and I think both of these things combined made me want to have a job where I could help people and where I could make them feel safe. I love my therapist so so much, she's a big inspiration to me so after seeing what she does and how much she's helped me, I really want to do that with my life. Like that's what I want to do, I want to help people, I want to make sure they're okay I want to just be there for someone who needs it, you know? My psychologist actually told me I have a gift and that it's very hard to find someone who can communicate with people the way they do and that I can make people want to get better and just that's just so special, like what? So I really want to make that my career and hopefully I'll be able to help a lot of people. <laughs> the second question is, what is your favorite social media channel? I love YouTube. Booktube especially. I love watching videos. I like it way more than Twitter or Instagram where it's just pictures. I like getting to know someone and feeling like I'm friends with someone. Like just hearing someone talk, even as a background noise, like just I love that feeling. I love feeling connected to people. And I like TikTok too. I think TikTok's like the new Vine and I was obsessed with Vine, like obsessed with it. So I think YouTube and TikTok are the ones that I use the most, but I'm not against Instagram or anything like that. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of the platform itself. The next question is, if you had another channel, what would it be about? So this is actually really funny. When I was little, I was convinced, like convinced that I would start a makeup channel. I had like 15 videos filmed, edited, and ready to go, and I just never had the courage to do so, which is so sad, because like those videos were cute. Like, I, I was dedicated. Ever since I was little, I thought makeup was so much fun, not only to make you look better and feel better, it's just I like the art part of the makeup. I like transforming myself. I recently got some face paint, which is a dream come true to me, and I did a lot of face paint, makeup, and I'm just obsessed with special effects, anything like that. Like, I love playing with makeup, so I think it would be so much fun to start a makeup channel. I just don't think I'm as good as most people are, but if I hadn't started my booktube channel, I probably would have started my makeup one because I love playing with makeup. I love it. It's like something that makes me feel relaxed and just brings me so much joy. So definitely that. <laughs> Question number five, do you play any instruments? When I was very little in school, they taught us how to play the flute and rebel me pretended I knew how to play it and would just be like, not knowing and not like making any sounds and everyone was food and everyone thought I knew how to play the flute. Now looking back, I wish I knew because it was just so such a waste of time just to pretend I knew how to play. I'm learning how to play the piano on my own. I mean, look at some YouTube videos and so far I've been able to play three songs, which is not a lot, but it's something and I'm kind of proud of that. Question number five, what hobbies do you have other than reading? So I love to dance. I don't think I've ever mentioned this on my channel. I've danced ever since I was like five, I think. I started with ballet and then I went to jazz. I did hip hop. I love to dance. I think it's just a, a way to express yourself and I just feel so free 
when I'm dancing. I love it so, so much. Question number six, favorite TV shows? I have a lot. I love a series of fortunate events. I love Pretty Little Liars, American Horror Story, Friends, Big Bang Theory, Riverdale, even though the writing sucks, I think that show is so much fun. Gilmore Girls, obsessed with that show. Team Logan, all the way. Criminal Minds is a very good show. Stranger Things, oh my God, I love Stranger Things to death. I think those are it, or else I can ramble on forever, but I think those are my favorites. Question number seven, what got you into reading? So on my booktube newbie tag, I did mention this, my mom. So when I was little, me and my sister would pick up a book and my mom would read it to us every single night before we went to sleep. That really made me the bookworm I am today. So books have always been a part of my life and it just created sort of like a habit. Ever since I was little, before going to sleep, it's time to read and if you watch my vlogs, you know, I still do that even now. I have to thank her for that. She has always been a bookworm too, and she kind of made us fall into that. So, yeah. What are your favorite and least favorite genres? So this is not a surprise. My least favorite is romance, and my favorite is thriller, but dystopian is becoming one of my faves. So, yeah. Question number nine, what books defined your childhood? So this is a great question because I've just recently rearranged my bookshelves and as you can tell, I'm on a different setup. And I created a childhood shelf part of my bookshelf. So I have all the books that meant the world to me when I was little. Matilda was a great book that really made me who I am today. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Pippi Longstocking, Ramon and Beezus. And question number 10, tell us an interesting fact about you. This is hard. Um, what is interesting? I was born with blue eyes. Is that interesting? And then when I would, when I grew a little bit, like even before I turned one, my eyes became this greenish brown color. Um, is that interesting? I don't know. My favorite subject in school is biology. I was born on April Fools. Uh, that's fun. I'm five six. Is that interesting? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's the end of this tag. Hopefully this was interesting. I don't know. I'm not a very interesting person. So hopefully this wasn't boring. Thank you again if you decided to subscribe to me. It means a lot. Like, thank you. Just thank you. You're amazing. Let me know down below some interesting facts about you. I would love to get to know you guys a little bit better because we're all friends here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of this wonderful family. I would love to have you here. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.